You know what's been the most lucrative, by far the most lucrative uh, practice I've ever learned uh, with respect to building my uh, coaching practice? Slowing down. No joke, nothing has put more money in my pocket than that practice. Slowing down with the way that I interact with the world, paying much more close, much closer attention to what's coming at me all day, every day. I, you know, I'm doing, I'm creating a course, a digital course for coaches, helping them with all the things that we need to master, right, in order to build uh, and create a thriving coaching practice. So I put out a survey and I asked a bunch of coaches um, what they thought would be great to include in that course. And the number one response, the most frequent response, was uh, finding clients. No, just that, that's the biggest challenge that coaches who are building practices face is not knowing where their clients are. And you know what the answer, the simple answer to the question, where are my clients? Where are they all? Where in the world are they? The answer is they're, they're freaking everywhere is where they are. They're in your face. They're all over your world. But you can't see it because you're, uh, you're in too much of a hurry. That's a fact. I got an email. Uh, no, I got a Facebook message from... Uh, someone this is years ago like right when I was first learning the practice to incorporate the practice of slowing down into my um, into my world not just into my business but into my world and uh, I got I got this message from someone who was asking me somebody that I had worked they, they worked for a company that I had been doing some coaching work with years ago we stayed in touch we we're friends on Facebook and she was asking these met these questions of me wanting to pick my brain get my advice get some coaching Although she didn't put it in that language, but that's exactly what she was asking for, whether she knew it or not. And she was asking these questions about stuff about you know her, her professional life, making a big shift, and personal life, big, big decisions. And I, so now I start answering. And I'm typing away, and, and, I, and I got, in retrospect, it's so crystal clear, like the 2020 hindsight that I have on this, that in that moment, although I thought I was being like helpful by responding to her, I was also being driven by the need to delete another message, like get rid of the in, like get the, the inbox to zero, right? Like that's that's like that's a thing. Let's just get it to zero. We'll have that be the priority, right? Get get as, get your inbox as close to zero as if that's like a measure of success somehow. <coughs> but I was doing that. Now I was I was sincerely answering the question, but, but I shouldn't have been. I'll tell you why. As I was typing away, I thought, man, this is a long this is a long this is a long response. This, this actually shouldn't be typed. This isn't something that I should be typing. This should be a conversation. So I deleted it all. I slowed down. And then I rewrote. I said to her, this stuff is huge. This is important. This is more important than an email response or a Facebook message response. Like, let's, let's visit on this. Let's get together in real life. Can you meet next Monday? And she wrote back, holy crap. Yeah, hell yeah, that's amazing. Thank you so much. It's incredible. So we met and we spent a couple hours together. And before I promise you it's true, before I could even say it, before I could even open my mouth to ask her, because I thought she'd, she'd make a great client. So I was about to ask her, but she, she beat me to it. She's like, so what do I got to do to hire you? Uh, we're coaching. And I told her. And she's like, all right, it's a little more than I got right now. Let me go get the money. And she did. And then we coached for a year or two. And, and, and I got client referrals from her. Facebook. It all came back to Facebook. They're everywhere. LinkedIn. I'm just, I mean, I'm not just talking about social media, they're, but they're there too. Our clients, our prospects are there. There, they're in our. They're where you are always. The grocery store. Slow down the way you're interacting with anybody and everybody. Be in the inquiry. Always, all day, every day. Be in the inquiry. Is this a human th that I could potentially serve? Is this someone who could use my skill set as a coach? Is this someone who could truly benefit from coaching? And and let's explore that, and be open to that possibility. Slow down the way that you're listening to people. Often they're asking in ways that they don't even necessarily know for coaching, right? Like, I mean, I can't tell you how many times I say to people when I'm just meeting them, when they ask the question, so what do you do? I, I have all different kinds of fun responses, but they all sort of narrow down to the same thing, which is I help people. I'm a coach. I'm a personal coach. I'm a personal transformation coach. I help people close the gap between how their life is and how they want it to be. And so many times people say, wow, I could use that, that they're spoon-fed invitation to open up a conversation about that to see if a person if this person is someone that's uh, you're going to serve if they're going to become a client 
slow it down, people. I promise you, I promise you with every cell in my body that if you will slow down, you will make more money as a coach, guaranteed.